there, what I'm about to do right now is I'm going to continue with my in-vehicle inspection, which includes my air brake test. But in my system, this is where I go ahead and check my ramp, okay? So I'm going to make sure my ramp properly deploys. There we go. It's properly mounted secure, not cracked, done or broken. All hardware is present. All right. It's free of debris. Anyone need to use it, they'll be able to use it properly and safely. It's all about safety. All right. So now I'm about to continue. I have a fire extinguisher right here. Probably about a skewer, night crack been broken. ABC fire extinguisher and it's charged in the green. I have three triangles available to me in case if there is a breakdown after 10 minutes, I can get out and place those triangles in the front or the rear of the bus, depending on the situation. All right, and then I have six fuses available to me here if I need those fuses, all right? So I'm gonna come up here in this seat and I'll continue with my safety items. My seat belt, probably mounted secure, not cracked, been or broken. All hardware is present on it. It locks and it unlocks properly. That's my safety. All right, my seat is good. All right, so let's continue with this in cab inspection here. All right, so now this is my system. I kind of start out and I come back in, so I'm gonna make sure my window is probably mounted secure, not cracked, been or broken. There's nothing impeding me from seeing out of that window. I have my windshield wipers. They work on all levels. Make sure I have wiper fluid. Windshield wiper fluid in there. Yeah, clean those windows up a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna check my mirrors to make my, sure my mirrors are adjusted to me. Mm -hmm. They are adjusted to me. Now I'm coming right down here. I come down right here to where all my indicators. I'm gonna check my voltmeter to make sure that it's up and rising and at proper level. I'm gonna check my oil gauge, make sure it's up and rising at proper level. Check my temp gauge to so make sure it's up and rising at the proper level. Got fuel, I'm looking at my air gauge. It's reaching 120 to 140 PSI. It's looking good. As I come here to my steering wheel, on the 20-inch steering wheel, I have no less than two inches of play on it. Got my horn. Horn is working. Let's make sure all these indicator lights are working. All right. Left turn signal, that's working. Right turn signal, that's working. High beams are working. Headlights are working. Four ways are working. Got the heat. My heat is working on all levels. And my defrost is working on all levels. All right. Now I'm gonna continue with my air brake test. Cut my truck off, make sure my bus so you should say a truck, this bus, truck bus. All right, make sure my bus is chopped. I already did that. I'm gonna turn it to night run, on position. Cut on my bus. I'm looking for the ABS light. My ABS light came on and it went off. ABS lights work. All right, now I'm gonna let that pressure build to 120 to 140 PSI. All right, she's at 120 to 140 PSI. All right, so this is the brake test. It's vital, it's important, all right? It's vital that you do this air brake test perfectly with no errors because the way this bus stop and operate is by air. And if the air is not working, you're gonna have a bad day. So you gotta make sure you do this air brake test correctly, all right? So I cut on this bus and I made sure that I saw my ABS light, that it came on, it went off, all right? I got up to 120 to 140 PSI, which right now is sitting right there at 120 PSI. Now what I'm about to do is cut this buzz off. And I'm gonna turn it back to night run so I can read all my gauges, all right? Now what I'm gonna do is release the brake. I'm gonna push it down, release the brake. And after the initial loss, I should lose no more than two PSI in one minute. All right, and you wait that entire minute, okay? The next step, you're gonna firmly put your foot on the brake. 
and after the initial loss, I should lose no more than three PSI in one minute. And you wait that entire minute, all right? And then you fan the brakes, you pump on them, and at 55 PSI above, that low warning air buzz is gonna come on, all right? After that buzzer come on, you continue to pump and fan those brakes, and at 40 PSI below, see that little button right there? It should pop up, all right? So let's try it. Let's see if that low warning air buzzer come on. All right, my low warning air buzzer did come on at 55 PSI above, and now that should pop out. Boom! Air brakes working on old yellow. Yes, they are. Now I'm gonna do my build-up test from 85 to 100 in 45 seconds, all right? We'll come right back with that. And that build-up test, it did work. I went from 85 to 100 PSI within 45 seconds. Now what I'm gonna do what I call the pull test. I'm gonna check my parking brake and my service brake to make sure they're working, all right? So with the parking brake, it's already engaged. Remember it popped up when it popped out? It's up right now, so what I'm gonna do is put the bus in drive while that brake is up to make sure it's working. The bus didn't move, so that brake is working. Now what I'm gonna do is put the bus in drive to check the service brakes. I'm gonna move forward about five miles per hour safely, release the brake, and press my service brake, make sure the bus stop, and then pull to the left, and then pull to the right, all right? That will indicate I have some issues there. So guess what? Old yellow, the brakes are working on me, all right? And that braking test is so important. You gotta remember and get it in your head, all right? Practice it over and over again. You crank that bus up, make sure that ABS light comes on, it goes off, get it up to 120 to 140 PSI, you cut it off, you cut it on, all right? You press that button in, after the initial loss, you should lose no more than two PSI in one minute. You wait that one minute, you put your foot on that brake, all right? After the initial loss, you should lose no more than three PSI in one minute. You fan that brake at 55 PSI or above, that lower point of air buzzer should come on as you continue to fan that brake. That parking brake should pop out at 40 PSI or below, okay? And then you do your build-up test from 85 to 145 seconds. That button is already up, so you put the bus and drive to make sure your parking brakes are working. You release that button and you go forward five miles per hour, press on that brake, make sure it doesn't pull to the left or the right to make sure those service brakes are working, all right? And then you set that parking brake again, all right? It's all about safety, and just how I can rattle that off you got to be able to rattle it off too because safety, safety is the most important thing. That's why I do this commercial. That's why Mr. B Trucking Institute exists. It exists because of safety. Because safety doesn't happen by accident. Right here on Mr. B's Trucking Institute, we about to do the external light check. Let go.